Hey guys, it's Keenan, and this is the Clear English Corner, where we're talking about all things American English pronunciation. So if this is the first time you've found one of these videos, be sure to subscribe and tap the bell so you'll receive a notification anytime new lessons are published. Also, be sure to visit the channel or the Clear English Corner website to see all the lessons that are already available. In today's lesson, we're talking about 25 of the most common reduced words in English. But you might be wondering, what the heck is a reduced word? So let's talk about that first. We can break down English phrases and sentences much the same way we break down English words. So in English phrases and sentences, there will be words that are stressed or emphasized. There will also be words that are unstressed, that are said quickly without any emphasis. There will also be words that reduce. And these reduced words are said very quickly and their pronunciation changes from the way you would say the word if you said it by itself. Also, in these reduced words, the vowel sound often changes to the schwa. These reduced words are extremely common in the English language. In fact, every single one of the words we're covering today are among the top 100 of the most common words in the language. It's definitely worth your time to become familiar with these words. Not only will it help you to sound more natural and native in your pronunciation, but it's going to help immensely in your listening comprehension when you're trying to understand those fast talking native speakers. Okay, so let's dive in with our list of 25 of the most common reduced words in English. Here we go. Number one, T-H-E is only pronounced the when it comes before a word that starts with a vowel sound. In all other instances, you want to say the, the, the police, call the police, the car, she bought the car. Number two, a R E R becomes er. Er. Kids are. The kids are hungry. Those are. Those are hot. Number three. A N D and becomes in. In. Thursday and Friday. I'll be out Thursday and Friday. And you. Practice and you will get better. Number four, O-F of, when it comes before a word that starts with a consonant sound, it's typically going to turn to a, uh, a, uh, wanna, I need one of those, parta, are you part of this? Number five, I snuck in two words here, the articles a and an, a becomes a, uh, a. Uh. A break. They need a break. A meeting. I have a meeting. And an becomes an. An. An appointment. We have an appointment. An early lunch. I had an early lunch. Number six. T-O-2 becomes t. T. To see. I can't wait to see it. And watch for this, since the word starts with a T, if it comes after a word that ends in a vowel sound, it's going to turn into a flap T or D sound. So go to becomes go to. I should go to sleep. W-A-S was becomes was, was, was late. She was late. Was awesome. That was awesome. Number eight, T-H-A-T, -T, that becomes that, that, that's terrible. Oh no, that's terrible. That might. He said that might happen. Now you don't want to reduce the word that if you could say it and be pointing at the same time. Like, I want that one. Also, if you're using the word for emphasis or if it comes at the end of a sentence, like, I don't like him that much or I don't know about that. Moving on. Number nine, F-O-R, for, becomes fur, fur, for dinner, 
What's for dinner? For bed. It's time for bed. Number 10, Y-O-U, you becomes yeah, yeah. Knew ya. I knew you would. Do ya. Do you have it? Number 11, H-E, he. We actually drop the H here and it becomes just E, E. Sure he, sure he does. Know he, I know he will. Number 12, A-T, at, becomes at, at, at six. Let's meet at six. At work. He's at work. B-U-T, but, becomes but, but, but that. Anything but that. But it's, I don't like it, but it's the only option. Number 14, H-I-S, his. Again, we drop the H here and it becomes is, is, it's his, it's his job. That's his, that's his brother. Number 15, F-R-O-M, from becomes from, from, from one to four. The meeting's from one to four, from New York. He's from New York. Number 16, O-R, or becomes er, er. Tuesday or Thursday. I can do Tuesday or Thursday. Three or four. Would three or four work better? Number 17, A-S, as becomes as, as, not as. It's not as hot today. As soon as. We'll leave as soon as we can. Number 18, T-H-E-I-R, there becomes their, their, their address. What's their address? Their house. Their house is for sale. Number 19, C-A-N, can becomes kin, kin. I can, I can do that. We can. We can try again tomorrow. Side note, C-A-N, can, almost always reduces to kin, kin. Whereas C-A-N-T, can't, doesn't ever reduce. That's one way you can tell the difference between these two words. Instead of can versus can't, you're really listening for kin versus can't. Okay, number 20, H-E-R her. Again, we drop the H here and it becomes er, er. Met her. I just met her. It's her. It's her birthday. Number 21, T-H-E-M, them. We drop the beginning of this word too. The T-H falls away and it becomes um, um. Saw him. We saw him last night. Need him. I don't need him. Number 22, H-I-M, him. Again, we drop that H and it becomes M, M. Told him. She already told him. Met him. I met him yesterday. Number 23, Y-O-U-R, or Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, your, becomes your, your. Your weekend. How was your weekend? You're next. I think you're next. Number 24, T-H-A-N, than becomes then, then. More than. It's more than that. Better than. Anything's better than this. And finally, number 25, O-U-R, our, becomes R. Our, our house. Parties at our house. Our best. We tried our best. So there you have it. 25 very common words that reduce. It's well worth your time to become familiar with this list. And if you need some extra help here, you know I've got you covered. Here's what I recommend. Be sure you grab the practice PDF I've created to go along with this video. 
It's a list of the 25 words we've covered today, as well as their IPA transcriptions and the sample sentences we used in the video. Watch this video every day this week and say the words and sentences with me. After that, take your PDF list and using your auditory memory, try to say the words and sentences on your own. After a few days of imitating like this, I want you to take things a step further. Try to use the list to generate your own phrases and sentences. You'll be amazed at how these words start to work their way into your brain. All right, I hope you found the lesson helpful. If you did, please share with friends that you think may find the information interesting or helpful. Let me know how your practice goes this week. And as always, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.